Now Fujikaze is up on the block next. Uh, feeling good or feeling god? I'm not exactly sure which way they want you to pronounce it, considering one of the O's is in parentheses there. But uh, we're gonna check this song out. You guys know I love Fujikaze. I was so bummed I didn't. I was I was unable to get a ticket to go see him live when he was here in LA. Uh, it sold out so fast. <laughs> uh it's it's crazy so we'll have to check them out some other time at some point uh but yeah let's uh let's check them out and uh let's see let's see how this video is who knows let's go Fuji kaze feeling good feeling god i feel like it's feeling good but we'll see um, also, just a heads up too, I do like to watch the, uh, I do like watching the music videos twice, uh, mainly because, you know, he's going to be singing probably primarily in Japanese, and uh, I don't speak Japanese. So the first time through is going to be to watch the video, see what's going on, see if there's any cool art things I can tell you guys about, and then the second time through, we'll watch it with subtitles up, and then uh, we'll get a better vibe for what the song is about, you know? So uh, here we go. Like a stream love appreciate you feeling good okay we got a little bedroom scene Immediately vibing. Dude. <laughs> Yo! First off, sorry. I'm going to point out just a few things. Obviously, the walls and floor are painted with a, with cloud scheme. Uh, I'll, actually, you know, sorry. It might not be painted. It's probably a uh, sticker, essentially. Like a huge uh, printout that you stick to the walls and whatnot. And the floor and all that good stuff. But dude, his outfit, like, I know it's so extra, but I'm like actually loving it. <laughs> it's so over the top, but I love it, dude. It's so funny. It get very, gives off Mad Hatter vibes in my eyes. But uh, still, it's a cool jacket, too. It's like, I would actually love that jacket just to wear. But it looks like it might be a wool jacket, which means I would be way too warm to wear it. That's okay. Also, the song off the rip is vibey as hell. Let's go. He's magical. He's teleporting around. Yes, we do need a fuzzy top hat for sure. A gigantic furry top hat. Great little set for the house here. It's gonna be inside a studio. Also, the FX is great. Oh, man. Sorry. My art radar is blowing up right now. This room is trippy. Um, there's so much going on in it. So at some point in the back, there's going to be either a big green or blue screen. So there's definitely physical set that is going backwards to start the tunnel. And then there's going to be a wall at some point, which to be honest with you, it's really hard to tell. Like the wall might be like right here. They honestly, it's so seamlessly done. It's hard to tell what's real and what's uh, the effects. But obviously, they're not in an actual gigantic tunnel like that, I doubt. Because, uh, I mean, that's not any natural rock formations and whatnot. But it's, yeah. Oh, man. That's, that's a, that is a tough thing to build, is all I can tell you guys. There is so many different ways you can do it. 
most likely I would probably stick to like uh, chicken wire and like paper mache type material in order to create like the grooves and whatnot to, to give it that curve and it's clean but it's not super pristine that's kind of why I'd say it might be the paper mache kind of stuff they could have cut it out of like a harder stiffer foam but I imagine it was most likely going to be some sort of like uh, paper mache that they put a lot of hardening on it to make it tough and more rigid and then paint but uh that is not at all a easy build that is definitely not at all an easy build so good on you art team look at that and plus sand obviously too sand in there as well How do they build that? I feel way less confident in what I just said. Also the little kids with the blue hoods. That's so funny. Although I did have a slightly morbid thought right now. I was like, did these people all just die? <laughs> like, collectively? <laughs> now they're going up to heaven or what, whatever's next. Willy Wonka? Mario Kart of Willy Wonka? I can see that. They got the roller coaster too? Sick. Dang, they even... Okay, I think they just built the, uh, the actual seat of that. Uh, Ferris wheel. There you go. MV affects the rest. He's back. <laughs> Woo, take it off. See ya. Nice. Let's give the uh, the crew some props here, guys. Give them some props. Incredible video. Really well shot. I mean, to be honest with you, it's like you can always kind of tell with Fujikaze. For the most part, most of his music is very uplifting. So, having a don't even know what the song's about, but I can already tell you, I feel emotionally better having just heard that. <laughs> if that makes any sense either. Dang. Pretty big, pretty big production. Pretty good size. Back to the front. Alright, subtitles are up. We're gonna watch it again. We're gonna see what the song is actually about. It's a cool video. It's a really cool video, though. It makes you feel lighter, you know?
now. Kind of letting go of the uh, stuff holding you down in life. Just feeling the love. Alright, real quick before we get too far away from it, I did like that line of like, uh, what do you say? Uh, try listening to the sound of tranquility. Yeah, so your heart is being noisy. Uh, try listening to the sound of tranquility because I do have that issue. I have I have that problem where I I get in my head and I think too much, and uh, I might not necessarily be listening to my heart. I might be listening to what's going on in my own head, but like. Try listening to the sound of tranquility. Like, what does that even mean? You know, it's something I personally struggle with really bad. Uh, so I don't know. In the in the uh, the comments, if you guys want to share with me how you find your tranquility, that'd be pretty cool. Cool thing to hear. Because I think it is important. I think it really is. And and just hearing to, like, don't worry about it or like things like that. It's it's hard when there are things you should legitimately worry about. You know. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It just made me think about trying to fall asleep at night and not being able to. So it, uh, it's cause my brain is going a thousand miles a minute and, uh, or a second really. <laughs> and yeah, made me, made me, makes me think about that. Don't have to worry. It'll be okay. Also, it's funny too that they rigged up the kids on the uh, the harnesses as well to pull them up and away. Conquer the mountains. God, this song is really good though. I'll let it play out and then we'll talk a little afterwards.
<laughs> nice. We already gave credit to them, so we're not doing it again. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Dude. Fujikaze is freaking awesome, but I will say this song actually stumps me a bit. Definitely, definitely stumps me in just the regards of how much I struggle with you know, my own feelings of feeling free and, and happiness and all that kind of stuff, you know, for the most part, like, I have a hard time waking up in the morning and being happy and, and wanting to conquer mountains, you know, like, I, I struggle with depression, I wake up a lot of the times already feeling bad, already feeling sad, and just not ready for the day and not ready to conquer mountains. And it's a tough place to be. You know, and it's it's one of those things where I'm like, I'd actually would love to. I'd love to be able to to get to that place a little bit easier, you know, in fact, it's kind of why we do the channel and, and it's why I usually end off saying stay aggressively positive. And it's not that I want people to go out and physically attack people for being negative or anything like that. It's more of a, a of an a reminder to me that I need to forcefully choose to look at things with a positive light rather than let the depression win and let the sadness win you know and uh i don't win i don't win all the time you know i don't and for being absolutely honest uh it's hard it's hard out there so i think this is a it's, it's an actually a really awesome song and it's it's a song to strive for so, but it's hard. It's hard too, because I do have a hard time calming my heart down, calming my brain down. And uh, yeah, so if anybody has recommendations, <laughs> by all means, let me know. I will uh, I'll give them a shot at least, you know. Or I'll hear you out that much. <laughs> Therapy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, unfortunately, one of the issues that keeps me up at night is finances. And unfortunately, therapy doesn't come free. Uh, and, uh, it's not exactly super covered by my insurance either. So that's fun. <laughs> so let's, let's talk a little bit more at home remedies, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you for watching. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you did go ahead, like, and sub and do all that cool, fun YouTube jazz uh, also, come hang out with us while we actually do the live stream. I'm typically doing them at 5 p.m. PST on Fridays. So uh, come hang out with us. It's a lot of fun. And then also gives you a little bit more of a uh, in-depth look of how these reactions go. You know, and I think it could be a fun time and you shouldn't miss it. But yeah, definitely make sure to like, subscribe, tell somebody about this. I don't know. And uh, tell me more about what you guys want to see. So do that. I'll be in the in the uh, comments as well, so uh, I'll see you over there. All right, guys, love you all. Stay aggressively positive. We will catch you on the next one. All right, love you. Bye. Mwah!